Hello all my convenes and welcome to a special new episode of Snackin'. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to need, basically need to reorder these or sort of reboot the series you might say because I'm going to be starting completely over. <laughs> but uh, more on that later. Today what I'm going to be trying out and rating for you all um, is some of the items that you might have seen if you saw my update or um, uh, a loot video, I guess you might say. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a few very interesting possibilities here, including um, a Pokemon Wheat Cracker uh, on the back. Uh, I actually did find a little bit of information about it. Um, Pokemon Wafer Choco. So there's chocolate in there, apparently. Um, milk lactose. Uh, basically, if you can't uh, if you can't have dairy or gluten, then this isn't for you. But I figured, you know, especially with Pokemon Go still being rather popular right now. I mean, I know I'm still enjoying playing it, and if you. But just going by the gyms that are around where I live and work, how often they change. Yeah, it's still pretty darn popular. Okay, here, so... It kind of looks like... Um, how do I describe it? Uh, basically, if you go to stores here in the U.S., you'll find these packages in the cookie section, and they look a lot like this. They'll have, like... Uh, chocolate or vanilla cream on in the middle and then wafers on the outside but instead of being one square block it'll be like sort of small rectangles so you probably get and not quite do two but close to three out of this I guess but um before I try it there actually was something in here and it is an adorable Pikachu sticker. I think it's a sticker. I can't exactly tell. Um, I, I assume it's a sticker, but it's really adorable and shiny. Hopefully it appears nicely there on the camera. <laughs> but that's kind of adorable, so... Uh, is there anything else? No, there doesn't seem to be anything else in there. So I guess it just kind of goes along with the... I think candies here in the U.S. used to do this, and might still, but I haven't seen that many, where you, you know, you get a prize inside. Uh, Cracker Jacks would be one of the main ones that technically still do that here in the U.S., but you get like a little temporary tattoo instead of, I guess, some of the cooler gifts you might have gotten back in the day. But now let's try out this um, chocolate vanilla wafer. Okay, initial thought, and this is probably a good thing <laughs> in a lot of regards, but it's definitely not as sweet as the wa uh, wafers or the version I was talking about that we get a lot here in the U.S., but the chocolate is very interesting. Hmm. It's not overly sweet, but it's not really bitter either. It's, <laughs> I, I guess some countries might say good chocolate, which here in the U.S. we get a lot of overly processed and they kind of mess with the flavors a bit, but that is really interesting. It's, I mean, just because I have a sweet tooth, it's a little bit disappointing because when I saw the chocolate here on the outside, I was expecting a bit more you know, sweet flavor. But overall, it's not bad. Let me uh, try another bite here. Yeah, the the most of the flavor, or basically all the flavor, definitely comes from the chocolate. In this, the wafers are very bland, to say the least. Or, or again, at least compared to what we get here in the U.S., which is probably like 99% sugar <laughs> with those wafers. But yeah, I honestly really like that. The, cho again, the chocolate isn't overbearing. It's not too sweet. So if you are um, anywhere that, uh, uh, like a, a Japanese store, such as, I got this at the Mall of America. And just in case, I actually forgot to mention this, but the, at the store in the Mall of America called Tamadachi, and I believe there's another one here in the Twin Cities as well. But if you see any of these Pokemon uh, wafers, uh, 
I would recommend at least giving it a try. Again, if you don't uh, have any issues with dairy or gluten. So yeah, that's, that's actually a nice little snack. But moving on from there, it is time to move on to uh, another video game from Nintendo, or another kind of video game character, but Mario Candy. Yes, it um, is basically all I can really get from it, but it, says, it just says mixed flavored candy, and it makes reference to the different Mario Brothers games, uh, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario World, New Super Mario Brothers. So I don't know if like any of these are going to be shapes. It looks like if the bottom of the packaging here is any indication, and sorry about the reflection there, um, there'll be little circles maybe meant to imply like the coins that come out of the question blocks or some of the bricks in the games. But I will do my best. Oh, and they're actually individually wrapped. Interesting. Oh, I wonder if each flavor depends on the particular game. This one's called Nobel for Super Mario World. Okay. Uh. Oh, maybe that must be the brand, Nobel? Oh, it is. Uh, <laughs> Nobel or N-O-B-E-L is the brand. So, whatever the flavor might be, I can't read it because it is in Japanese. So, let me give me just a second here to find the rest. Um, green. This is also from Super Mario, Super Mario 3. Oh, well maybe... Okay, well hopefully the packaging color will be something that I can use as a reference because it's not... Uh, uh, basically, you can get different games as far as what's displayed on the packaging. It's kind of adorable, but not really necessary. Um, I'm only seeing three different colors here. So, if necessary, I will cut ahead and basically make uh, make sure I can find the four different flavors so I can try them out. But, um, another adorable little thing that came in the game, it all, this comes with, this definitely is, a sticker. A little uh, Super Mario World sticker. And it probably comes with some of the others as well. But this one, it's like there's a little indentation along Mario here so where, to where you can actually just take him off the sticker if you want, which is really nice. I I have to admit, I do like that um, so far these things have come with little prizes. I can only assume that the others probably won't since they're not exactly branded, but we'll see. So I will cut back in just a second once I make sure I have all the flavors. Okay, I'm back now, and the good news is that the individual packaging colors does indicate, at the very least, I don't know if it'll be the flavor, but the color of the candy itself. So we have, in the sort of purple packaging, it's a uh, kind of a purple, I would say almost a dark pink color, maybe rose, and then in the more pinkish wrapping, we have something that is very distinctly pink. Then we have green and orange. So, yeah, let's give it a try. I will start with the one in the purple packaging, which I assume is going to be grape. <laughs> okay, the purple one, it's really good. It's another, and this may be something just with candies outside of the US, which is probably a good thing. It's not overly sweet. But according to the thankfully English written instructions with a specialized label, um, one of the ingredients is fruit juice. And there's four different kinds mentioned. There's peach, grape, orange, and melon. So I assume the one I have right now is grape since it was in the purple packaging. It definitely has a nice subtle grape flavor to it and I'm hoping that those kinds of flavors will show through with these others as well. It's like, you know, just a nice, clean, sweet taste. 
So let's see, this is the orange. I'm going to assume that it'll be the orange flavored one. Mm. Yeah, very immediate, or very immediately can tell that this is the orange flavor. It's, it tastes like it's made with orange juice, which is really, I apologize for the, uh, well, hopefully it's not as audible on the camera. But yeah, it tastes like it's made with orange juice, and it's really quite good. It's, again, just very refreshing. As opposed to a lot of American candies where, you know, you get the orange flavor. But in comparison, the, fla the, Amer the flavors we get here in America are often very artificial tasting, even if they're naturally flavored. And it just... It, it doesn't taste like sugar, it tastes like orange juice, which is just amazing. I do apologize if me doing that grosses anyone out, but you know, I can't, if, if I had them all uh, to their entirety, I would never be able to, you know, test out all the flavors. Now the green one here, let's see, so far we've had grape and orange. So this will be either melon or peach, and I'm going to assume this is melon. Mm, yeah, okay. I definitely, I feel like I guessed this one correctly. I, I feel like it is melon. At times it almost kind of has a watermelon taste to it. However, I think when they say melon, they're probably going more along the lines of perhaps a honeydew? Or... I don't know, it's, it's something along those lines. Because it has that, just, that very subtle sweetness to it, and the flavor is so familiar. But I'm having trouble placing the name, so, you know, melon definitely... I feel like encapsulates it. So, what we have left is peach, and uh, looking forward to trying that out. And again, apologize to anyone that might be a little bit grossed out by that, but, you know, what are you gonna do? I might actually try and edit it out, so you might not know what I'm talking about. Anyway, what I am assuming is peach down the hatch. Now, I will say this. It has been a while since I've actually had a peach or even peach juice, but... The flavor that comes to mind, it's, it's, a, it's very familiar. Again, because I haven't tasted it in a while, I can't say for sure whether it accurately really tastes like peach to me or not, but given the ingredients, it's, it, 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 I can only assume that this is a good peach flavor. It's, no, unlike the grape, really unlike the other flavors, if I were to just try this candy, no particular fruit would come to mind. Which isn't really negative per se, it's more of just a uh, lack of knowledge for my taste buds, I guess, if that makes sense. But yeah, it's... Of all these candies, this is probably my least favorite, just because it's not as familiar, I suppose. But overall, uh, the four of these are really good. I would definitely suggest picking these up. And I got them from Tamadachi for uh, $4.50. I don't know how much of a markup there is. I can only assume since they're imported, you know, they're not going to be very cheap. But uh, according to this, you get about 26 candies per package. And that's not bad, really. Again, it's expensive <laughs> compared to the candy we get here in the US, but overall that's not a bad deal, especially for some good quality candy that, unlike some that you would want to just crunch and kind of get it over with, each of these candies you would want to savor the flavor. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely highly recommend the Mario candies. If you see those at any uh, local stores or if you're in Japan, perhaps. Yeah, I, I highly recommend these. 
I don't know if these candies are done outside of just the Mario branding, but uh, just in case they are, again, the uh, company that makes them is Nobel or no Noble, however it's pronounced, N-O-B-E-L. So yeah, really enjoyed those. And now let's move on to the next candy.